I'm going to share with you the top things to do when you're in Taipei. This is National Theater. This is National Concert Hall. And up there, the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial. Guarding the memorial are two guards positioned on each side. And every hour, they change. So two new guards come out. These guards can take their break. Sen Memorial. Okay, well that's not it. It's really this. So Dr. Sun Yat Sen, he's only been to Taipei four times, but his ideas live on. One of Taipei's top billing landmarks happens to be the National Palace Museum. And being here and seeing the sprawl of this entire area, I can, I can kind of guess why. I got my ticket here for 250 Taiwanese dollars. It houses several priceless artifacts from previous uh, Chinese emperors. There's jade, calligraphy, Buddhas, a lot of really cool stuff that I've not seen in other museums yet. Four points to Elephant Mountain. You could do this short and easy route or you could do like one of these more extensive routes. For today's sake, and for time, I'm gonna do the short trail. You are getting a decent workout when you're climbing this. So I think that was it. <laughs> Glorious view. So here's a row of fortune tellers and many of them have worked with famous celebrities. So there's a line of people waiting already. The I think the average cost is around 520 dollars. It's for like a session of five to ten minutes and you can get your fortune read. You have um, some fortune tellers on one side of the street and when you go under the underpass, you have another row of fortune tellers too. Everyone's got their own style. Are you seeing them? <laughs> so we're talking about um, outside things, work issues. I like to see what the turtle does. So down this street is a night market, and it's not your typical market. It's just more like a walking street with a ton of uh, restaurants and. Um, stores or shops selling random goods. And also, this is your average snake restaurant. So here is a snake restaurant. Definitely some snakes in there with, I think, what it is, their meal, which is the, the rats. Must be a delicacy. Bet you didn't think I'd throw that one out, did you? Never a dull moment in Taipei. Now, to be candid, I'm actually a dog lover, but when I heard that Taipei had cat cafes, well, it was a no-brainer. I had to check one out. So here I am at um, Cats and Cafe. Um, it's supposedly one of the original uh, cat restaurants. So this cafe is supposed to have, um, or it's said to have, like the most fun cats and uh, I pay cat cafe meal. So you can even buy snacks for the cats so that you can feed them. Consider it a bribe. Now remember, this is a working cafe, so you actually do have to purchase something in order to go in and sit down and experience the cafe. 
say, the minimum order costs around 120 Taiwanese dollars. If you've read my blog post or seen some of my videos, you know I have a thing for toilets. So that's why we're here at Modern Toilets. So the decor is all like these plumbing pipes as well as toilets and toilet bowls and urinals and poo. This is the menu. There are drinks that you can order in little urinals and um, dishes that you can order in urinals or squat the way you want. Actually, this would be a perfect place to take your date. Um, Provided you get the sense of humor. Uh, night market. Um, it's New Year's Eve and the streets are packed and I don't know if that's for the holidays or because this is a very popular food market. So because Taiwan is known for being a foodie country, coming to the night market is the time find out what's vogue in food. Each hawker has their own type of style, their own sauces, as well as flavors. Sometimes they even prepare it just so differently. There's a general rule of thumb when you eat. When you're in Taiwan, if you see a crowd, it means the food there is really good. Taipei? Why? So there's a shop um with Hello Kitty stuff, but it's more like Hello Kitty food. See, they're Hello Kitty snacks. <laughs> How about a Hello Kitty taro mochi cake? Or a red bean mochi cake? Oh my god, these are cute. So thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up or like, subscribe to my channel, and until then, travel safe, smart, and fun, and may the girl be with you. Okay.
now's the march back down. Ooh, it was cold today. It's like like windy cold. Um, but it's probably out of the entire week, probably the most sun I got. And now it's getting a little overcast again. Hey all you gear travelers, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you some of the top things. To do. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of the top things to do. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of the top Today I'm gonna to share with you some of the top things to do. Oh like that one. With a colorful one, you had it already. Hey there, girl travelers. Today I'm gonna to show you. 